if you're feeling confused and overwhelmed about all the different AI models that you can use, you are not alone. I wanna break it down super simple. First and foremost, I'm just gonna focus on ChatGPT for this video. I know there's Claude, I know there's other tools, but ChatGPT is the leader in this space right now, so we're gonna start with that. The main two models that I want you to think about when you're using ChatGPT are GPT-40 and O1 Preview. GPT-40 is gonna cover 90% of your use cases. It's great for things like writing emails, crafting messages, helping you brainstorm through problems. It's also where you're gonna be doing things like making images and analyzing documents and searching the web. O1 Preview is a smaller version of a big model that ChatGPT has not released yet called O1. O1 Preview, as the name suggests, is a preview into what O1 will be once we all get to play with it. And what O1 is great at is problem solving. So anything relating to coding, science, math, things also that require some logic or rationalizing, this model has been designed to think through problems step by step. So for example, I'll use it for something like, what time should I schedule a meeting if I'm in LA and my client is in Madrid? Keep in mind that O1 preview as of today Tuesday, November 19th, uh, cannot access the web and it cannot read documents. You can't upload do uh, documents to it. And a lot of people for some reason don't realize this, but keep in mind, you can actually toggle between which model you're using in the same conversation. So after I ask a one preview about what's the best time to schedule a meeting with someone in Madrid, I can switch it over to 4.0 and ask it to craft an invitation email to that client to schedule a time. And now you know about the two most important models that you'll actually wanna use. Good luck.